What is up guys, this is Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I'm here with a cop drop, finally, of the Aoku musket bag. And I'm also gonna be doing a small little mini review slash giveaway of the Aoku tech belt. So stick around to the end for that one. I'm so sorry that this review has been delayed. I've been talking about it for a long time, but I just wanted to make sure that I had like a full grasp of the project. And just this bag, it's changed so many times and I think I finally reached the point where I'm like, okay, this is how it's gonna be for the duration of my use of this. Cause initially you have the honeymoon phase and then you fall out of love with it and then you end up using it. And it's just like, I had to have this for at least, I think it's gonna be about two months now. And I've been using this on and off as my daily bag and I'm finally, finally ready to do the review, a full cop drop of this. And also bag giveaway, or not bag giveaway, uh, belt giveaway. Mm. First off, thank you so much Aoku for sending over two of his belts. Uh, I'm gonna be giving one away. Um, I might also be giving the other one away depending if what sizes you need. Uh, like just in case you need like a 32 to a 34, then the medium belt is right for you, which is I'm wearing. Or if you need like a 20 to a 30, then the small bat, uh, the small belt is for you. So yeah, we'll get into that after the review. So the bag, the bag essentially comes with two front zippers, one super heavy durable one up top, one small one just for like coins, etc. Maybe even spare dollar bills and a side pocket for easy use so that you can have it all the way zipped up, you can zip this down and just reach in for it. This also has a cool little elevator pouch where they have a little pulley right there, has a little elevator pouch. Um, some people I talked to, they didn't like the elevator pouch. I think it's super handy for just pulling out some extra stuff. It's all X-Pack, super nice materials. Um, there are also two loops inside there is a small loop right next to the elevator pouch, right there. That's where Aoku hung his carabiner, uh, which he also includes. And there is a longer one from this side. You have a longer one right there, which you can also put your carabiner in, etc. Or you can put like an ID card or etc. in there. And of course, he has this. Um, watch out for what side you get, because I got the right hand side which means the bag is going to lay on your right i thought it was the other way around but it's because i'm stupid and it also has this cool little mechanism which i'm sure a lot of you tech boys have seen etc so let's talk about the pros so my first pro is that it is a very simple 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 bag some people may view it negatively mainly because this is a 200 dollar bag and it just looks like a plain and simple bag but i like to relate this to an apple product or let's say for example an iphone an iphone it's a very very simple phone it doesn't have too many bells and whistles but it does everything that you know like you'd like from a phone extremely extremely well like fingerprint sensing, like you can have touch ID on everything basically. Yes, this bag is a rectangle. Some people have told me that. Yes, I get it, it's a rectangle. Um, but that's what a musket bag sort of is. It's supposed to be a smaller bag. There is a little streamline. It's super streamlined. Um, I'm a fairly casual user. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm a fairly casual user. I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. I carry just basically my wallet, keys, phone, Maybe my journal or my planner um, and a pencil or a pen. That's about it. I don't carry like tablets because I don't have one and I don't carry anything super crazy. So if you guys are looking to carry like a bunch of stuff, I suggest getting a bigger bag, something from like Mission Workshop or Timbuktu. Those brands might be better for you. So another pro is that I love the quality of the materials used. Uh, this might be a little bit stupid, but I really, really like the inner lining of the bag. Uh, if you guys can ever feel this in hand, the inner lining is just like, it feels so like, so smooth. It's, yeah, it's stupid, but it feels so smooth. And like, that's easily one of the best I get, features. Like, is it even a feature? Uh, one of the best aspects, at least in my opinion, of the bag is that like, it just feels so damn smooth. And I don't know, I love it, I love it. So let's talk about the cons of the bag. One of my cons of the bag is also, um, a duality of my first pro is that it is so simple. There is just no learning curve. It's just very simple. There isn't any, you know, special features or interesting designs of it. So some people may not see this as 
worth it, you know, because there isn't anything like standout-ish and then a lot of people are like, man, like I could just get like a Mission Workshop bag for like, you know, cheaper and also it's bigger and has some features and I'm like, you're right, you're right. If you are comparing Aoku to like a big, big company who has like, you know, huge workshops and no pun intended, uh, huge factories and like a supply line, etc. Yes, they are going to be cheaper per, I guess, value in a sense than a smaller brand like Aoku. Aoku is just basically like a one man show. Um, he's been doing a lot of his stuff by himself. Now he recently got um, into manufacturing it, so he should be releasing more of these bags in larger quantities so they don't sell out as fast anymore. There are also a few design changes that I'd personally like to suggest. I'm not sure if this is more of a, a con, more of like, I guess, criticism to the bag. Um, I think it'd be really cool if both of the straps had some type of uh, clip thing like this. So that would almost eliminate the need for having like a left and right side. Like I think that'd be really nice if you could just, you know, flip it. Like depending on what type of bag configuration you currently have, whether or not you have like a big bag on the right side and you want this little bag on the left or vice versa, I think that'd be really cool. Maybe a future design maybe for the 2.0 musket bag. Yeah, like I just feel like it'll streamline everything. Sure, like it might cost a little bit more per bag if you do have two of these little things rather than one but totally up to you totally up to you but i think that'd be a cool addition or cool little um future thing i guess uh, uh. and another thing is i mentioned that there was a loop right next to the elevator pouch where the carabiner was hanging this loop is extremely small for the carabiner um my fingers got stuck in it, um, the carabiner got stuck, so I just ended up pulling out the carabiner and sometimes I would hang it right here. I just hit myself. I would hang it like right here in the front pouch or I'd hang it like on the opposite side right there. Uh, another little cool thing that I'd like to see is maybe a little bit more stability in the bag. Yes, the bag is streamlined, but I'd like to see more stability because I try to attach um, some sort of small attachment and the bag was sort of drooped down like this and it kind of defeats the purpose of having like a pocket right here if it's just gonna be exposed like that. So I think adding maybe, I, I don't know, something sturdy like right there where like it'll keep its form. I think that'd be a cool addition to maybe a 2.0 or some other future bags. Small little gripe, I'm not sure if it's much of an issue is that these little things would fall out because I saw that I would be like pulling this and this little plastic part would start to pull out. So I'm not sure what happened, cause I know that there are little tip, I guess plastic things that you can attach to the tip and then it'll just be like that. But I mean like it looks cool, but functionally it started to pull away. So now let's talk briefly on the Aoku belt. So this isn't like your traditional tech belt where no, there is no Cobra like buckle. No, there isn't any of that, which is kind of refreshing to see. Because my Cobra belt, as nice as it is, as nice as it, as nice as it is, um, the Cobra buckle is really, really big, and it doesn't fit on all of my um, bottoms. Only some of them do, um, and it's just kind of a hassle to put on and take off. And a lot of the times, I just leave it on one pair of pants, and I wish I had more of them, and kind of defeats the purpose, etc. Um, this Aoku belt, it uses a big little side buckle where you put it in through one side and you pull it out once. I'll have like a small little video detailing about it um, right after this, but it has that, it slips down and there isn't anything like drooping or hanging, like there isn't like a D-ring that's like flopping around like a fucking condom on the ground or anything like that. So it's actually really refreshing and it's so much easier to put on than a Cobra buckle belt. It's miles, my is easier to do this than the Cobra buckle and they both like secure you perfectly fine sure it's not gonna be as flashy but the Aiko belt it's a very simple simple belt but it's very functional which is very true in his design language with the musket bag as well so I'm gonna throw some fits on to show you guys how the belt looks and how the bag looks itself alright look nobody can fuck with my mood right now I just bought an Xbox One with rap money. 
I just wrote a that part verse in 30 minutes and I'm happy as fuck So uh, I'm just gonna go in That's what I've decided you won't catch me stiff with a mean mug Mixing a lean cup, twisting the weed up Or blowing smoke cause I'm spending my visas And ordering pizzas, needing to eat bro I'm going broke, I just stay in my room Make paper for tunes, it's like the newsprint section Where Garfield at, catering to All of them haters at school, cause now I made it And them fools, they all feel that So I be rushing in to kill them like a villain in the mask Put your feelings in them bag, then duck Everybody claiming they the best, got them banging on their chest, but nobody else impressed like, bruh. Ain't nobody really with the raps, you ain't even gotta ask, need proof that bad, oh fuck. Let me go on business mode and bite the Kendrick flow for just a minute, show them what's up. Said record me, see your beat get plays, you core knee like a free tole. I got freaks that could beat Soleil, they roll deep in the East Coast Bay. Your best bet is to bleep these words before they reach locate. Uh. Alright, so, Daniel of Aoku. Um, first off, great work with the brand. Um, I just like your whole, just the old ethos of the brand. I like how simple it is, black and white, just clear cut. That's what I really appreciate is that that shows through your bag. It's very consistent and your belt as well. It's extremely consistent. It's minimal, clean cut, nothing that is trying to push the envelope in any sense, but it is doing everything that people need and doing it right. So I personally think it's worth retail. The 200 plus dollars, worth it, absolutely. I think this is a welcome addition to anybody's, I guess, wardrobe. You don't have to wear this specifically for tech wear because I wear this a lot for like different types of fits, casual fits, just going out to lunch, etc. You don't need like a super hardcore fit. I even use this to go to the gym uh, you, you can even ask Caroline. Yeah, I use this all the time going to the gym. I just keep all my gym stuff, um, my protein shake, and all that other nonsense. So this is a very versatile bag, very streamlined bag, and I 100% recommend it. No, this isn't like a paid promotion or anything like that. Uh, Aoki even told me that I don't even have to necessarily do like an advertisement or like a shout out for the belt. He just like sent two over and super gracious of him so i am going to be giving them away so the terms of the giveaway all right guys i'm going to be doing the giveaway until the 9th of september post any fit under this hashtag hashtag aoku ffa giveaway and i'll be selecting the winners from there i'll do it on camera i'll make like a video about it so post any fit um you can only post one fit and also make sure to tag me in it and make sure to follow aoku and i um my Instagram is at kevin.img and Aoku's is right here, Aoku Co. And yeah, uh, so I will be doing the giveaway. So essentially it is open worldwide. I can ship it worldwide. You guys don't have to pay a thing. I'll be paying for worldwide shipping. I'll be paying for domestic shipping, etc. So yeah, just, just submit, you know, your fits and maybe you can win the, the Aoku giveaway. I'll be giving away at least one belt. So, why I say at least one belt is that he sent me a small and a medium. Uh, the size charts are going to be in the description below and I'll put them somewhere over here. So, it's going to be people who have a waist smaller than 30 and people who have a waist larger than 30 but less than 34. Um, so, everybody like that can enter. If somebody does choose with a medium that I have, I'll just, you know, like send it on over to them and I'll also be giving away the small. So, yeah. So make sure to check out my Instagram, make sure to post those fits, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.